Hey guys, we're doing another uh, PSA video, and this time it's for the NSPCC, which is the National Society of Prevention to Cruelty to Children, which is a British um, charity that um, it, it does what it says on the tin, really, and I think there's an American equivalent, and I did a video on the Irish equivalent, and we've got a bumper video today. We've got, like, there's, like, 18, not 18 PSAs, but there's a lot of PSAs in here, sorry. The, the PSA runtime is 18 minutes, that's what I should have said. So there's one in here that's two minutes and there's you know different lengths and whatnot um so the first one we're going to watch is called boxer so i'll just let it roll Child abuse is never this obvious. You must call us. Okay, so that was Boxer. Um, you know, it was it's a it's an ad from the nineties, and um, it, it's all right, I suppose. It's not very, it's not particularly hard hitting. I guess showing the child in the corner at the end is a bit, you know. Well, uh, would hit a mess the hit the message home, but um, I think there's a there's a way better ads coming up, and uh. It's, it's all right, you know, it's not the worst one I've seen. And the next one is called Butterfly Years, and it's a more recent one. So let's let it play. Help us listen to every child's voice. Please give to the NSPCC helplines at childsvoiceappeal.org.uk Yeah, that was a, it was a quite of a inoffensive ad, you know? A lot of these ads go for like shock factor, whereas that was kind of subdued, you know? The, only at the very end did it show the child, uh, the abused child that they can't get through to, or they're not able to get through to at the moment. Uh, and that was an appeal for Childline, which is, uh, we have it here in the, in Ireland as well. It's like a, it's a helpline that children can ring if they're having any troubles. I don't know if there's a similar thing in America or abroad, but um, there is definitely one in Ireland and England. And it goes, but the one in Ireland goes by the same name too. The next one is called uh, Ellie or Christmas Appeal. Uh, it's a Christmas um, <laughs> appeal, as it's it's what it sounds like because they're a charity. Um, so I'll let that play. This is an appeal from the NSPCC to ask if you can make a Christmas donation now to help save a child's life. Tragically, in this country, three to four children die each week, helpless victims of violence or neglect. Many more are beaten or abused, even abandoned, like little Ellie, left alone for days without light, heat or food in the bitter cold. Hungry, lonely, scared, all Ellie wanted for Christmas was for her mother to come home. Luckily, she was found in time. Last year, the NSPCC helped over 53,000 children. Please, give what you can before another child is hurt. Your £15 could help fund our Child Protection Helpline, where anyone can call if they fear a child is at risk. Your £15 could help us counsel a child suffering from the agony of emotional cruelty. Your £15 could help pay for that first vital visit to a child whose life may be in danger, a defenceless child like Ellie. So when you write your Christmas list, please imagine there's an extra child to buy a present for and send them a gift they'll never forget. The hope of a life free from terror and pain. Just write or ring 0800 444 2 to give £15 or whatever you can spare. We're waiting for your call now. Thank you. I really like that ad, yeah. It, obviously, it's from um, many years ago. I think it, probably the 90s, I'd say, judging by the look of it. Um... And I think it's really good that they use uh, Come All Ye Faithful, like a classic Christmas song. 
in the background, you know, and a pretty rousing rendition of it uh, as the background, you know, I think it really hits at home and all like the, the black and white imagery, you know, it's kind of obscured. And then the end, they show the child's face all that she's, she's got a fucking puss on her. She'd want to lighten up. But then at the end, they show her um, smiling. And so it takes the, it takes the edge off it a bit, but like, you know, it's, it's still a powerful lad, you know, all things being said. And so the next one um, is, and it's, is a, it's called Decibels. And it's a, it looks like another recent one. So I'll let it play. That's one that's uh, that's got a good twist ending to it. A lot, a lot of um, PSAs and PIFs have um, twist endings, you know. <laughs> so it's like uh, that could have been a- an ad for anything. That could have been ad- an ad for like headache medication, you know. Like I think was, I think there's been similar ads like that, you know. Uh, I think there was I think it was Norfin, maybe I can't remember. But there's like one ad where it's like a woodpecker, and it don't it's to symbolize a headache, you know, just like constant throbbing uh, pain or discomfort and it, that could have been a headache commercial easily a headache uh, relief commercial uh, easily or it could have been like a, a decibels it, it could have been a, a a public health warning for hearing but uh that twist the end where they show the key freaks out and shows the baby and then it stops and you know the, the number before you cross that line you know i, I think it's a really good, well done ad uh, okay so the next one is called excuses This is an NSPCC Christmas appeal to ask you for £15 to help save a child's life. When Tom was taken to casualty, his parents said he'd fallen on the floor and banged his head. In truth, X-rays revealed a large fracture to his skull, caused by repeated kicks and punches. Sarah was only 12. Her 22-year-old cousin claimed she led him on. In fact, he'd been secretly abusing her for many months. Fiona's mother said it wasn't her fault she was so thin. Fiona just didn't have much of an appetite. The NSPCC discovered she'd been seriously neglected and underfed. There's no excuse for child abuse. The NSPCC exists to protect abused children, but your support is vital. If donations stop coming in tomorrow, we wouldn't even be here next Christmas. So please call 0800 80 20 20 and give £15 or whatever you can to help save a child's life. That's 0800 80 20 20. So many children need us. Please call us now. I thought I thought that one was fantastic. Another that's another powerful one. Two in a row. <laughs> that was a great. That that was another Christmas appeal, like the last one. Um, but I think it was way more effective. Even though I thought the original Christmas appeal one was quite good too, but this one, with the real stories and with the dramatizations, fantastic. I got goosebumps watching it back, especially that second part with the the girl in the bedroom, bedroom. You know, with the twenty two year old cousin that let her on, or supposedly let her on. You know that. That was really good, really powerful stuff. The money I'd be donating so quick if I saw that at Christmas. Okay, the next one, judging by the file name here, is also called Excuses. So it's probably going to be a similar kind of video with uh, different stories. So let's go. The little girl, she said to me, What are these things that I can see? Each night when I come home from school When mama calls me in for tea Oh, every night a baby dies And every night a mama cries What makes those men do what they do To make that person black and blue 
Another fantastic appeal ad by the NSBCC. They're on a roll. <laughs> I, I just put these in um, the order. I, I download them all from the um, History of Advertising Trust. And I'll you know, link it in the description. It's a like, archive of advertis advertisements from the UK. Oh, fantastic. Another great ad. Powerful. Uh, I, at first, I was thinking... I, I don't know if I preferred over the last one with the videos. I was go oh, going to say I preferred the video one, but that last story just hit like a rock with the black girl on the, on the swing and then it fades out and it says the coroner's report. Jesus, rough. Fantastic ad though. Awful stories, but like really effective advertising for a charity and for like a, a good cause like this. And uh, yeah, it was another appeal. And the next one is just called Child. So, so uh, could be fucking anthem really, and I it looks like a quite an old ad, just from the thumbnail. <laughs> this is the child alone. This is the child no one comes to collect. This is the child who can't talk to others. This is the child who's never been seen in clean clothes. This is the child who no one wants to sit next to. This is the forgotten, the neglected child. The NSPCC helps thousands every year. Thousands more need our help. And yours. Yeah, I thought it was an all. It was it was an all right ad. It's not it was not as good as the last few, um. But I did think the uh, lack of music, the yeah, the just like lack of music or any background sound once the kids had faded away, uh, that was pretty good, pretty powerful stuff. Um, looked like it was from the seventies, uh, given the kind of narration style and given the the, the overall look of it, like. Like there was a the, about an ad from the nineties that was black and white. I think it was the boxer one. But uh, it's just the, the overall look of this one looked very 70s-ish. And the next one is just called Listen to Children. So that could be, I assume it's for Childline. Or it's another neglect ad like the, the last one we just watched. I can't believe it. Will you not slam the door? Like, like, take your shoes off when you come in. Look at the murder. Tidy this room. It's an absolute Finished your pizza. homework yet? You'll be in trouble when your dad gets home. Still, put that comic away, load of rubbish. I won't tell you again. There'll be more trouble at school. Oh, for goodness sake. Come. Dad. Leave it. Dad. I was second in swimming today. Not now. Can't you see I'm busy? Will you please switch off the television now? Uh, you know, I, again, <laughs> not particularly hard hitting or, you know, stick in the memory kind of stuff. The fade to black with just a text or, you know, just kind of silence is always, you know, it's a good end to the to PSAs. But um, I didn't think much of that to be honest. Um, but it was for it was for they're all for a good cause. So they're all, they're all valuable, you know, in their own right. But I just I just wasn't too, too big a fan of that one. The next one's called Demands, and it looks like a more recent one. It's five o'clock. You will wake up! Make me breakfast! I want something else! Pay me attention! Read me this story! Who said you could sleep? I want Walter. I've had enough! That was an interesting one. 
<laughs> I wasn't expecting a fucking full metal jacket, you know? Uh, you know, steers and wires kind of stuff. But yeah, definitely an interesting um, way to frame uh, a child demanding uh, things of their mother. But then the switch, it's that bait and, it's not bait and switch, that's not the word. It's that uh, twist ending, you know? That always get that's always a powerful technique in the PSA. <laughs> the the switch the child and the fucking ma'am freaking out, you know, always a good tactic. The old, uh, I guess, shock or the not shock, but you know, the twist ending. Always a good shout for a PSA. Seems to work all the time. The next one is called Caravan. Is he stupid? Darren! Darren! Bless him. Okay. Just tell Hi, me what about. Hi, you're future child line Can you tell me about your mum? You think you're going to tell Every month we need 2,000 people to volunteer for Childline. However you choose to support us, together we will make child abuse stop. Full stop. Well, that was uh, Darren! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, calm down, lady. And she, the way she was marching out with such fucking, I guess, determination. I was like, holy shit, how, how is this going to go? But then all the desks started popping up, you know. He ca he parried with Childline, you know, and threw up all the desks in front of her. But uh, you're de decent ad, I, I thought, you know. Uh, the the woman freaking out was uh, pretty good, you know, that was uh, effective. Um. I have a funny story about that, of, uh, kicking a ball against, uh, not a caravan, but uh, I mean, the lads used to kick football against a, a wall in our estate, and I used to drive one of the one of our neighbor, particular neighbours fucking batty. And I understand why, because uh, it's annoying now. It'd be annoying now as an adult, but like, you know, as your kid, you're just fucking kicking a football, like, you know. So, and she came out, she'd come out on her doorstep and shout at us and give out to us. <laughs> and that would always want to make us want to do it more, you know, naturally. Okay, so the next one is called Silence. I think we have two so called Silence. And I think these feature celebrities too from Eng from the UK. But you might recognize some of them if you're outside the UK. And uh yeah, let's just let it roll. I think I've just doing the the, 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 the the I think I have the two versions of Silence in here. Easy for me to say fucking hell. Long day. Okay. I think that was quite good. Um, the silence is unnerving, as it always is. Um, and I like the use of uh, celebrities for these kind of commercials, you know. It, gets, it always seems to get people to listen when there's a celebrity involved. Like, I noticed there um, two off the top of my head. I, maybe I missed some of the other ones. Maybe I'm not um, that familiar with the with UK celebrities, but, you know, maybe that radio host at the end was someone, I I, I don't know. But um, I saw Thierry Henry, uh French football soccer player, you know, play for Arsenal, Barcelona, and uh, Graham Norton, who's a chat show host now, but he was also in Father Ted, and uh, he's a comedic actor in his own right. Okay, so the next one is called Handscape, I believe. <laughs> Thank you. 
was quite a nice ad, actually. I liked the animation and the message at the end. Uh, I was expecting a twist ending. I thought this is way too happy. NSPCC, there's going to be some fucking bollocking at the end, you know. Uh, but no, it was <laughs> quite uplifting and nice. Uh, don't know how effective the nice ads are versus the hard fucking get at them approach. But um, both, both approaches are valid. Uh, it was a decent ad, you know. Certainly visually striking. I uh, thought it was a really pretty ad. The animation was great. So the next one is just called Playground. And it looks kind of 90s-ish. Whereas that one just kind of looked like 2000s, for sure. Maybe, maybe the 2010s. 30 years on, what are these children doing? I grew up to be a doctor. I grew up to be a solicitor. I grew up to be a car mechanic. I grew up to physically and sexually abuse my children, just like my father did. Many abused children grew up to abuse their children. £20.66 could help the NSPCC break this vicious circle. To make your donation, please call now on 0800 777 600. You know, when I first, when I heard the first kid say, oh, I grew up to be a doctor, I knew there was going to be trouble. I knew the, the last one was going to be something rough. Uh, I didn't expect it to be that rough now. That was a grin. But um, definitely an effective ad, you know. Twist the knife at the end, you know. Get him at the um, twist ending. Uh, so, the next one is called Elizabeth's Story. And it looks like fairly recent. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell from the, these little thumbnails I've got on Final Cut. This is the story of Elizabeth. At six months old, Elizabeth cut her first tooth. At 10 months, she was crawling. At 14 months, she took her first steps. At two years old, her leg and arm were brutally broken and her small body beaten and bruised. Every year in this country, thousands of children like Elizabeth are punched, tortured and abused in their own homes. And in the run-up to Christmas, we estimate that three to four children will die every week following abuse or neglect. Please call us now with your £15 to help save a child's life. That £15 will help pay for the therapy of a child. It will help the NSPCC work closely with families like Elizabeth's. And it will help pay for the NSPCC to keep in close contact with a child at risk. Elizabeth is four years old now, with real hope of a safe and happy future. Please help save a child like Elizabeth by calling 0800 28 20 28 now. With your Christmas gift of £15 or whatever you can spare. That's 0800 28 20 28. Our lines are open now. Thank you. You know... When I heard the twi the little uh, music box twinkle twinkle little star, I was like, "Oh fuck, this is gonna be some creepy shit." You know, they're they're gonna slow down the music, and exactly what they did, they slow they slowed it down, made it distorted, added like a tense like note in there that hung for a bit. Uh, so that was like really unsettling stuff. I'd imagine that <laughs> scared the socks of some people during that Christmas uh, during that Christmas period, whenever this is filmed. But uh, I liked how they, they threw on the uh, uplifting stuff at the end, you know, the, the ending shot of the, the kid Elizabeth smiling, looking adorable, you know, it took the edge off a bit, you know, it <laughs> ended up being nice, you know, as a Christmas ad. But, you know, a bit of sweet with a bit of sour, you know, can go, can work, can work uh, magic, all right. So I thought it was quite good, actually, yeah, the, the NSPCC got some fucking good ads, man. Fair play to you, spreading the good word, the message. Hopefully they get lots of uh, donations. So the next one is just um, the variation of silence, like I was saying before. So uh, probably see some celebrities pop up in here.
Yeah, not not so much to say about that one. It's just silence again with uh, with some with some different shots, but they reused a lot of the shots, and I didn't recognize any celebrities in there. Um, so the next one is just called Speech Bubble. If you're worried about a child, talk to someone. You could help stop abuse. Oof. Man, that was rough. You know, Jesus. And it's not the the it's not the uh, the last and not the worst cartoon one uh, we have in this video that it's coming up very soon. Um but yeah, ooh, that was uh, effective all right, you know. Fairly dark, especially the last shot there. Uh, now obviously they get saved by the speech bubbles. You know, so you know, not it's not all grim, but that last shot of your man in the bathroom coming in, coming in the room, ooh, you know, <laughs> bad fucking intentions. Anyway, the next one is called uh, Headlines, and it lo looks quite old. This is a Christmas appeal from the NSPCC to ask if you can give fifteen pounds now to help save a child's life. Every year in this country, thousands of children are cruelly abused in their own homes. Babies left alone for days without food. Toddlers beaten and bruised, helpless victims of violence. Young girls and boys shamelessly assaulted. And tragically, it's estimated that every other day, a child dies following abuse or neglect. The children shown here are those that made headline news. But for every child you read about in the papers, there are countless more in need of our protection. This Christmas, can you spare £15 to help save a child's life? Your £15 will help us cancel a withdrawn child. Your £15 will help our work with children and parents and your £15 can help pay for that vital visit to a child in danger. So please, give the best Christmas gift of all and call 0800 28 20 28 now. We're waiting for your call. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, you know, of the Christmas appeals, that's probably not the best one. It was all right, like, you know, does the job. You know, they are, they're all, you know, valuable in their own right, like I've said before. Um, so these last three, uh, always save the best ones for last or the most effective ones for last in my mind anyway, you know, um, this next one is called don't look and I've used the, I've used the next two, um, before in a video about a uh, child predator, you know, kind of themed, uh, PSAs, but I never did any review or commentary at the end of them. So here's don't look. Come and sit over here. You're brainless, you're stupid, you're no child of mine. Mummy, where are you? I don't like being on my own. Not a word to anyone. This is going to be our little secret. Sometimes we can't bear to look either, but cruelty to children can be stopped, and with your help, 
it can be stopped forever. Please support the NSPCC's new Full Stop campaign. God, that one gives me goosebumps. Oh, <laughs> it's awful bad. Oh, Jesus, it's rough. Awful stuff altogether. Yikes. Very effective, though. That's the thing. I say it's awful, but it's actually very good. It's very effective. Oh, my God. And that one was supported by Microsoft, funnily enough. A little tidbit. Interesting. So, moving on <laughs> to another uh, ter awful one. And it's uh, called Ventriloquist. Another very famous NSPCC ad. Another very, one of their very good ones. Who can tell me hands up nine times eight? Sally, do you know the answer? Uh... <laughs> shush. Do you want to come by my house after school? No. Nah. I'm fine. Can I go now? Thousands of children desperately need somebody to turn to. Call now and help us be there for them. God, that ad is powerful, to say the least. God, what is there to say about it? It's just so unsettling, unnerving. Yeah, you know exactly what's going on. Very good stuff. Whew. The next one <laughs> is the last one. And it's probably the, one of the more famous ones by the, uh, the charity here. And it's called uh, Cartoon. And it's won many awards. Enjoy. What's this? Hey, you had all day, have you? Hey, you've been sitting all day watching telly. Who's touched my videos? I said, who's messed up my videos? Don't just sit down when I'm talking to you. Get out! Start backing your ideas up, son. Hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> now, what the hell are you up to? Look at the state of this place. Hey, look at the state of it. Look at it. Ow! What did I tell you about running indoors? All right? What did I tell you? Where are you? Here you are. What are you up to? Oh, no. I just asked you what you're up to. No, no, no. I'm trying to make me do this! Mm. You dirty bastard! Get out! Get out! Get out! You fucking run! Get out of here! Told you it was the best one. <laughs> oh my god, cartoon. What is there to say about fucking cartoon? Powerful, twist ending. Although, you know, you see the violence coming from, obviously, from the minute the fucking starts. But, you know, the slapstick kind of goofy music and violence. You know, it's all like Tom and Jerry kind of stuff. And then they hit you the very last frame with a real child's body. <laughs> you just... They're the best ads I've ever done, in my opinion. Now, Ventriloquist is up there too. But I think Cartoon hits. Cartoon has that kind of... I don't know. I guess people would watch it. And, like, you know, think it's something else. And then, you know... It, you know, you wouldn't be sure exactly where Ventriloquist gives off a really creepy vibe. And you kind of know what's going on right away. Obviously, it's obvious it's a child abuse that's going on. But, you know, the Cartoon kind of... You know, makes you think, makes it, and the slapstick kind of stuff. It might make kids laugh, the slapstick stuff, and then you hit, you hit them with the last frame. So, yeah, that's that. Another one supported by Microsoft, actually. Yeah, so that is that. Um, That's the NSPCC ads done. 
out of the way and um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next in this PSA series I might do an assorted PSA or like a an animal rights one maybe or maybe a environmental rights one because those are always interesting there's a lot of freaking interesting ads when it comes to the animal rights people Jesus they make some uh, they make some content let me just say that all right so um all right that's that thanks bye